לבוב אמור! יאללה! Enchusu kwa kaza yenge wele bundu muna kimbongela. Luvuva mu. Yala. 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 And here is the meaning, sister Kese. I think you now you can go. Point second. This is the meaning of the proverbs. When the chicken searches, scatters things, out and looks for more, it ends up finding a snake. Mm -hmm. Yala. Ah. Yala. All right. Well, Maton Masaka family, nice to see you all once again. So, um, before we move on, we'd like to lead you in a prayer. Pratsamba, can you please lead us in a prayer? So in the Masaka family, let us pray to us to connect everything to certain Zambia and Boom to let us. Sam. Zambe umpungu tulendo, matondo masaka, munantangwe yae, yeto yana yaku, tuizidi munalungu kiaki, owila do, sambu kieto, munantangwe yae, zibulan, tima mieto, zibulan, tima mieto, zibulan, tima mieto, owiza kutusadisa, Oiza kutusadisa, O Lord mighty, open our hearts and come and help us. Let your Mwanda Venela take full control of this Zoom so that you may be in charge, Lord, not a human, but your Mwanda Venela. Touch every heart here present and those who are not Make you Mwanda very like you, those who are sick. Bring freedom for those who are under captivity. Help anyone who is suffering from anything, Lord. We give Munankumba say, your Mwanda, your Mwanda better than. May this teaching of today have place in our hearts. Mona, in the name of my Mona, we pray. Ingeta. 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 Hallelujah. Matondo Masaka. Yes. Uh, Matondo. Well, Mama Shelly, we'd like to, uh, Mama, Mama, Mama Zola, we'd like to hand over to you to remind the people about the, the rules, please, I'm just giving. Okay. okay, family, we just welcome to the Zoom and we're so glad you're here with us. We just want to remind everybody that if you are not using your mic while the presenter is speaking, please mute your mic so that there are no interruptions. And we hope this Zoom be a blessing to you. Ngeta. Ngeta, hallelujah. Lovovamo. Yala. 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 Well, we are always glad, family, to meet you. We are always glad 
to meet you because the word says where there is two or three speaking about me I am there you know you count and you are enough love of amor yalla 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 we are only obeying the will of the tanzambi which is to obey him you know sacrifices is better or oh, i mean obedience is better than sacrifices so we just so feeling his will not my will not brother samba's will not in the body's will but his will only and the problem is sometimes this is his will is tough <laughs> you know because deep inside of us there is something you know always to try to implement our own will but he's saying no nope, <laughs> my will <laughs> I don't know if you have feel if you feel if you felt that way sometimes you know <laughs> the wheel of the is say you know go right go straight and turn left or right but you will really saying you know this is this is a shortcut if you just turn this way you know you will arrive but it's saying no go straight so that is well family is very tough but yes it's better that's the best way to follow Today we have a very important uh, topic to share as we say not our will but the will of Nzambia Pongo his will the Mwanda is always busy talking to us the man is always busy delivering words and uh, you know the question we would like to ask everybody what is better to give you what we think what we think is necessary or to give you what the mother wants to give what is a better family give you what the mother wants what mwanda mm. what the mwanda wants yes all right yes family you know you say to give what the mother wants not we want not what we want all right we will give you then what the mother wants so take your pens as brother some like to say take your notebooks and take notes you know ah uh, brother nimi please can you present the document you know we have some is coming to thanks to tanzamba also for you brother samba nice to see you all because you know last week he couldn't join us but thanks to tanzamba is doing well now today all right can you see the document for pale family Yes, we can see it. Matondo Masai. Yes. Well, Brad Samba. You can go ahead. Yes, the answer was, you know, the brothers want not from what we want to give, but what the Manda wants to give. So family, here is what the Manda is speaking. Right? And this is not our my word, it is not our word. No. This word comes from from above, you know, and uh, Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, thirty six sixteen. People people ask Baruch, where did you find all those words? And he said, I was busy writing as Jeremiah was speaking to me, and this is what what I wrote. And same way, family will tell you, this is what we wrote, and we are conveying to you, though they are very tough words. We are conveying to you because the eyes of the manda is everywhere. He sees everything. Why? Because there is a river, you know, up there where we we are heading, where this world is heading. There is a river, in, you know, in front. There is a river in front of us that all of us we must cross. There is a sea that we must cross. But in order for for you and me to cross that river, we must know how to swim. Not swim physically. I'm speaking spirit. There is a river that is coming. But you and me, we must know how to swim in order to cross that river or that sea. And the question is, do you know how to swim? That is the question. Not swimming physically in the pool, 
in spirit, in spirit, spiritually speaking. That's a parable, by the way. So we must have used wisdom to understand what, you know, what is the meaning of what the mother spoke. There is a river up there. And you and me, we must know how to cross. We must know how to swim in order to cross the river. Once again, the question is, do we know how to swim? Yes. He who dig a pit shall fall in it. That's the word. Last time we spoke a lot, something similar to this, and we also touch a little bit on this one. And once again, we will, we will touch. Please, at the end, feel free to share the word with anybody whom you know, you know, is double-minded, is not in order. Don't fear, share it, family. Whether people like this message or not, that is the will of Zambian Pooh, not our will. Whether this message is good or not, that is his will. And it is better to obey him. It is better to obey him. He who digs a pit shall fall on it. This is what the, the book of Ecclesiastes 10 verse 8 says. So, Sister Kiese will be asking you to read. Sister Kiese. Yes, sir. Okay. Today we will speak a, lot of, a little bit of Kikongo, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> the point, point one. Oh, brother, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Yes. Who wanna try? Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Words of the Lord for twenty 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 second of the third, twenty twenty two. Yeah, sorry. That is the date this message was delivered. 22nd is, okay. you know, today's 26th. Just this, this week, somewhere. Yes. Yes, sister. Yes. He who diggeth a pit shall on it. Shall fall in it? Is that what's supposed to be there? Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Shall, shall fall, fall in it. In it. Yes. Ecclesiastic 10, verse 8. Go on. Okay. Do you need help in Kikongo? <laughs> yeah. I want you to try. Sir. Yes. <laughs> All right. Who want to try, family? Who want to try to read that in Kikongo? Me. Oh, All right. Go ahead, brother. Uh, and susu kwakaza yingi wele bundu muna kimbongela. Yes, the fufa mo. Yala, yala, yala. Matondo masaka. That is the meaning. That is the a proverb in Kikongo. You know, the elders, one of the way, one of them would like to use this. Uh, you know, uh, Pastor Kiza, you all know him, you know, very wise elder. We must learn from the elders, you know. That is, you know, a proverb in Kikongo. And Jusu, kwa kazayi ingi, wele bundu muna kimbongela. And Jusu, kwa kazayi ingi, wele bundu muna kimbongela. Luvuvamu. Yala. 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 And here is the meaning, Sister Kese. I think you now you can go. Point second. This is the meaning of the Proverbs. When the chicken searches, scatters things out and looks for more, it ends up finding a snake. Mm -hmm. Yala. Ah. Yala. That's in the Yala. Yala. Mama, Mama Matuzola, do you have Ecclesiastes? Yes. Please, can you go? You know, once again, we will prove that the Bible belongs to you. And we will okay. see the similarity of these proverbs 
to the, what is in the Bible. Yes, Mama Tola. Ecclesiastes 10. Dig a well and fall into it. Demolish an old wall and be bitten by a snake. When working in a quarry, stones will fall and crush you. There is risk in each stroke of your axe. Okay, that's enough for Matola. He says, when you dig, can you just read that part? When you dig a well, you will fall into it. Mm -hmm. And the, the next one, what says? If you demolish an old wall, you'll be bitten by a snake. Do you see the similarity family to the Proverbs in Kikongo? <laughs> in Geta. Yes, in Geta. The Geta. Bible moves to us. If anybody tells you to burn the Bible, throw it away. You know, rebuke them. And to so, kwa kaza yingi, wele bundu muna kimbongela. Our, you know, ancestors, they use these Proverbs to warn those, you know, who, who think uh, they are very smart. You know, especially when they are speaking to young people, because young people, you know, sometimes, you know, we young people, we think that we know a lot. The elders, they use that. You know, when the chicken search or scatter things away, you know, looking for some, you know, chicken, right? Family, chicken is always, you know. Huh? Yes. Can anybody yes. confirm that? No. Yes. Yes. Ngeta. It, Mama Zola, can, chicken, what, what, what does the chicken do? Can you just say in your English, you know, because our English, you know. Yes. They peck around. Oh, thank you very much. That the terms, you know, we like to hear from you. You know, because this message, family, the re original message is not in English, is in Portuguese. So we had to translate from Portuguese to English. So if you found any mistake, don't worry. The, the chicken likes to peck around, you know, always to peck, peck around, I learned from Matola. But what the chicken doesn't know is that the moment, you know, or the match, the more it pecks around, it will end up finding a snake. And when you peck around, you find a snake. What the snake will do to you? It will bite you. It will bite you. Ecclesiastes says, you know, he who breaks a wall shall find a snake or will be bitten by snake. The man is saying and this is the stage where the world finds itself. But above all, is solely. Because Nzambi loves, you, love, loves us so much. And he correct only those who love. This is what the Mwanda Velela said. If you know anybody who is behaving that way, thinking that he's too wise or too smart, pecking around like a chicken, just say that. And tusu kwa kaza yingi wele bundu muna timbongela. Don't say it, Lord, just say that. And the response are automatically will come. Get some back. So. Lugu vamu. Yala. Yala. Matondo masaka mpangi benita. Matondo masaka to all family. We're here, we left everything behind for us to come once again to learn from Zambia and Kumba to learn. And the topic, families, is very deep. Uh, I'm happy that most of the cameras are on for us to feel and to see you. And today, family, everybody will indeed participate. Everybody will say something. Everybody will... Uh, be present in this teaching. So let us not be like this uh, chicken who's always searching ar around and unfortunately finds something that he wasn't looking for. But we know where to find things. Before I move on, just would like to thank you once again, family, for all your prayers, for Everything you have done to me throughout the week. Great love, Sean, to this uh, very small <laughs> man here in front of you. Atonda Masak, Zambia Bless you all. 
And while Pangi Zenika was speaking, family, something came that it is now, and then it is the time. The time is now, and Zambian Pungo to land is looking for a righteous and pure vessel to use. So it is now that we should all um, worship the Father, not in the flesh, but in the spirit, in the truth. And then this true family shall set us all free. And then I was very glad when Pangi Benita asked which message you want us to share to you from us, or from the Manda, and you said from the Manda. So if it's from the Mwanda, we got to live according to the Mwanda. Uh, to ask um, uh, Mama Margaret, please, to help me in point number three to five. Mama Margaret, are you there? Tabernacle <laughs> point. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just help me in point number three, four, five? Okay. okay. That says the limo. Lord, through his Mwanda Kala, Holy Spirit. In this world you live in, not all human beings you think as real peoples have their souls in their bodies. You can see that this is a person, but after all, the spirit is a monster. It's, it's loaded with monsters, monsters, monsters. Yes, can you go to six, seven? And the question is, how does these monsters get into this body? How does these monsters take over these bodies like that? The father knows. You get that. Is like a no, place. let's stop there, Mama Margaret. Matondo Masaka. <laughs> Thank you a lot, Mama. Luvu Vamu. Yala. 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 I hope you have your notebook, your pencil, and then we're going to take a lot of notes. We got to have this spirit of writing and taking notes for us to teach others as well. So, family, for those who were present last. Um, Thursday prayer we spoke about the fight is real it means that where in this world we are is fully spiritual nothing that happens in the world without a spiritual effect everything that happens famous, it is a perfect result of a spiritual war going on that most of us don't know so when we are walking in, in this world, not everybody we see family, please hear it uh, nicely. Not everybody you meet on the street, on the shopping, on the restaurant, hospital, they are humans. Most of them, they have no soul as we saw and we read in the documentation. They have no spirit. They are demon infiltrated in a human being body. And somebody may ask, how is it possible? Because this world, it, it is fully a spiritual. And then the demons are out there moving as well, using the bodies. Then their intention, and then they are there not to do good at all. So if we become like a chicken <laughs> digging, Going, opening doors that are, are not from Zambia and Pungo to Lendo family, you will find what is not from Zambia. So, the world we are living is not well, as Pange Benika said in his introduction. We gotta know how to swim spiritually because many things which are moving, which we are seeing from our eyes, is, are not what we see. If in Zambia just open our eyes for, for us to see, we, we will start seeing a normal stuff. Because as we are talking today, as we are moving, there are many unseen stuff happening. Remember, 
to us to clarify this in a very simple way, the earth that we are, are, are for human beings. The evil spirit have no permission to come and do whatever he wants to do. He gets the legality when he uses a physical, what? A physical what? Body. 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 So that's why they say, in this world we live, not all human beings you think they are real people. <laughs> Others are Kajampem, but his demons have infiltrated in them. So let us watch out and start walking in the spirit. You you have said we want things from the one. Are we together, family? Together. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let us give, please give your feedback because we want to move together. We want to make the Zoom as moshi, as one. Everybody has to understand. If you're not understanding, feel not, don't be shy. There is time for questions later on, but if something is not, you're not understanding, as always, my mom, Matzola say, write down on the chat your question. And then in the right time, we're going to come in and clarify them. Let's move together. Sister, uh, who haven't read it? Yes, Brother Nimi, can you help us? Eight, nine. In Geta. Uh, point eight, the spirit is like a marketplace plaza. A person's spirit behaves like a marketplace plaza. When he is weak, he can attract many evil spirits. It's just one person, but with 50 spirits. I mean, a variety of spirits. The things that happen are deep, it's really a secret. Point nine, there's a lot of things in this world. What you talk about here are also profound things that are lived in this world. But since you are already separated from the world, your actions are not like those of the world. You are in the world, but separate from the world. Did you want point ten to? Point ten, please. In get that. Christ has lined up, I'm sorry, Christ has lined you up for him. As for other people, Nkadi Pemba seeks the interests of that person uh, or those people who have to share, who had to share for the kingdom of a zombie. Nkadi Pemba steals and takes advantage of people's gifts. Did you really understand that family? Kajan Pemba is out there to entertain you? No. To make you feel good? No. His mission is to destroy, kill, and what? Do as many evil stuff as possible. Because Pangi Benika always says, he has lost in heaven. He knows that he has no right to be forgiven anymore. Now, it's like that person who has been condemned to death, before he goes to die, he wants to kill as many people as possible. That is Kajam Pemba, friend. This is real. Let's wake up and see what is going on. We are moving, we are walking, but the world is not good, fam. Kajam Pemba is trying to steal your gift your happiness take you out of the way of Zambia and Pungo to land. But likely, you say, Christ has lined it up for him. That is for us. So, in Zambia, Christ is the one who has chosen us. And we are very lucky. It is not to Samba who chose my mama to Zola. It is not my mama Margaret who chose my mama. Uh, the Kennedy and so on, so on, but it was himself. You see how precious you are, family. You see how precious you are. This is written in the in the book of uh, John, chapter fifteen, 
uh, verse uh, 16 that says as follow. I'm going to read it very quickly for you to see how he has chosen us. That's why he, Kadian Pemba, always comes against you because you are chosen. Sorry, 15, chapter 15, verse 16. Chapter 15, verse 16. We come to learn, we come to share. It, it, it is also good that we start bringing our Bible, even on cell phone, a physical, but for us to read. Say, you didn't choose me. You see? I chose you. You see? How it's together, family? Ingeta. Give us a feedback, please. How it's together. Yes, Ingeta. we are. We are. Ingeta. Yes. We are 11 people family. Only two people. Mine is, uh, I don't know if you had my English so bad and so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, sir. Yeah. So please let us give you feedback. I see Mama Roya there as well. Thank you for joining us. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I pointed you to produce lasting fruits so that the father will give you whatever you ask for using my name and if we go now in the presentation we'll see satan seeks the interest of person or those people who had to shed for the kingdom of zambia and Pungu. That's a mission. He has chosen you for that. And Kadian Pemba is coming to do what? He still take advantage of what Isaiah Congo has given you. Luvu Vamu. Yala. 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 Are we together, family? Yes, yes yala. Yala. And point number eight. Thank you, Matondo Masaka Tonde, Brother Nim. He has read the spirit is like a marketplace. We would like to highlight this something very, very quickly. When he is weak, he can attract many evil spirits. When you say marketplace, it's like in a marketplace, there are a lot of people. Them. We put plaza there because some people call marketplace as a plaza shopping. Yes, it has a lot of people. So the spirit is like this as well. So when when you are weak, another spirit will try to take adventures of you. When you have no strength, another one will try to pull you down. Mm -hmm. So Kajan Pemba is always looking for that opportunity on you <laughs> for him to take you down, for him to take you from out of the presence of Zambia and Pungo to land. So our spirit has to be always strong family. So when we are not strong, what will happen? In that empty place, he will send evil spirits to take over. You feel yourself heavy. You feel yourself with no orientation. Because the empty place is a marketplace. Remember, there is a lot of stuff. But you left something empty. Then it came and took place of that. Are we together, family? In Yes, Ingeta. So this is what's happening in the spiritual realm. So when you dig for what is not good, you open again a door that is not from Zambia and Pungo to land. You found Kadian Pemba and say, oh my goodness, I made a mistake. It's, it's already late. We're going to beat you. So I'm going to stop here for a while. Thank you, Benik. Hallelujah. Yala. 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 
Matondo Gratramba uh, family. If we walk in spirit, the spirit will influence the flesh positively, in positive way. But if we walk in the flesh, the flesh will influence and make the spirit weaker. And that is the moment the spirit, the weak spirit will attract many evil spirit. And that, that is the time when you say this person is lost. The person, you know, you know, start, you know, walking around like a dead, dead soul. I can say a dead person. Family, the enemy, Kayampemba, he is an employed cherub. He has nothing to, to give. That's why, you know, unemployment is the, you know, one of the reasons there is a lot of criminality. Kadempemba is an employed cherub. He was cast from heaven. And because he has nothing to do, his job is to steal. He has nothing to give people, but he only steals what people have. And the mother says, he doesn't mind to start us. Kadempemba, Kadempemba doesn't mind to, you know, to take even five years, just that, just studying you for five years. So that within five years, his project against your life is well prepared. And when we, when, when he attacks, the attacks will, will be perfect. He only steals. And one thing the wonder warn is on a point eleven. Point eleven. The enemy also knows how to see what is inside of people. We wonder why, you know, those demons when they saw, you know, they met Fumo Yisu. Does anybody remember what, what they say? You know, when when Christ went to meet them, you know, I'm speaking about the man that was was sitting around the grave, covered with you know a legion of evil spirit. Does anybody remember what he said to, to, to Christ? Yes, what if they There's had to do with him? And, uh, <laughs> the question is, where, how does he know? A demon knows that he is the son of man. But Christ told the man, shut up! Keep quiet! He rebuked them, not to speak nothing. They know. They know. The Kanyampemba, you know, when they look at us, he can see the stars on our forehead. He can see the light that we have. That's why the more attack you get from the enemy, the more, you know, you must know that you are covered with fruit because nobody, you know, stones uh, an empty tree or a tree empty of fruit. It's useless. But people only stone a tree that is covered with fruit. That's why sometimes, you know, we go through a lot of ups and downs. Royal, can we go to point 12, please? If you're available to read. When people are given a doctrine, a teaching, of salvation to others, Satan is attentive to see how long or how far that person will go. At night, now Satan comes and torments the person. These people are tormented by the enemy. Yes, 13. And many of these people sometimes even give into the enemy and will be due to the enemy's will hold on the enemy sorry <laughs> give it to the enemy's will and and leave and leave now out of curiosity to see what the enemy has to give and sometimes even unconsciously yes sorry mama, mama, mama royal 
that's what relation, you know. <laughs> that's why I see, you know, that's how, you know, our mistakes. Yes, oh. family. This is what the mother said. Sometimes when people, it is not easy to teach, eh? It's not. And this, it is not also easy to receive the message. Because both, the person who teach and those who receive the message, they are targets of Kadyan Pemba. And Kadyan Pemba, you know, as we say, he will be watching you and me just to see how long and how far you will go. You will stick to what you believe. And most of the time at night, he, he comes and fights you. And fight. I don't have to ask, to ask, but you, you know, you can witness the fighting you've been through at night. Terrible fight. Why? To make you stop learning what you are learning. Why? Because you are learning the message of salvation. And it will attack also those who teach. Those who teach the mercy, a message of salvation, Kadian people also will attack them. Why? To make them stop teaching. And sometimes when we are weak in spirit, we give up. We give in to Kadian Pemba. We stop, you know, doing what we're doing. And those who are listening to the message, they stop. Why? Because they're going through a lot of attacks. Sometimes it's happened that way. You know? That's how it's happened. And sometimes those who are listening to the word, because of due to many attacks, and then people will start now to present a different message, a different offering to that person. You see? We will start to present a different message to that person. And you know, slowly the person will start to develop. A sense of curiosity to see what Kadian Pemba has through another person. This happened. Fem, does it make sense? Are we together? Ingeta. Ingeta. Okay, Matondo. Yes, we will go down for the name. And uh, unfortunately, family, you know, Kadian Pemba has been, you know, misleading many people. Because he knows the gift you and me have. Because he knows the gift that people has. He has been misleading people. Using their gift. It is possible for us to have the gift of the Tanzambi. But to serve the devil. It is possible. You know. A call of the Tanzambi is without recall. When he gives. He chose. But later on. All of us will be held accountable before the, the, the court of Nzambia Pungu. That's why everybody who is gifted must always be careful to use the gift in order and use the gift correctly, not for his own benefit, not for his own interest. And the problem, Spirit Samba said, Kadyan Pemba take advantage of people's gift. Why? Because, you know, Kadyan Pemba, he search, he will, he will study you and we'll see what you like the most. If we are proud, it will, it will fill us with pride. And it will give us something we like. It will present something of our own interest. And the moment you accept that, it's over. Whether it is power, whether it is a fame, whether it is a respect, something like that, it's over. That's why you see many people full of gift, but they got lost. Why? Because the, you know they were not very careful on how to understand how Kadian Pemba works. Yes, Mama Royal, point fourteen, please. Many are even interested in seeing a mermaid. They even invite her and say she must show up here. You are going to get another person who is in another world. Wor what is that world? World, yeah. Oh. Is in another world. Why? Why this nature? 15. The entire. Okay. 
The entire world is full of custom. They want to share marry with other people who are in another world. Yes. That's another thing, you know, the Mwanda or you know, touch that is still happening currently. Is happening currently, you know. And um a human being is very curious, you know, very curious. There was a guy, he always keep himself very clean and well dressed. But the way he used to do that, it was very strange, you know. And in his house, he will not eat any more food made by his own wife. And his wife was wondering, like, but why this man is behaving like that? Why does he eat my food? Why? He's very clean, very, you know, handsome looking. But he had, he had a strange behaviors. But what they didn't know is that this man, you know, he had his wife physically, but also he had his mermaid wife. It's possible family. It is. And many of those people, they have a family on earth. They have a family on the other world. Those mermaid spirit, at, at night, they show up normally in the house. People can say, well, is, is this possible? Yes. This is very, very real. And the man is, you know, the man is asking, but you, me, referring to that, those person, those people, I mean, you are going to get another person who is in the other world, mermaid. Why getting that person? Why? The person, the mermaid is on the other world. Why? With a lot of you know beautiful women, you know, found in the, this world, physical world, why are you bringing somebody from the other world? And this is a relative, not just men, women as well. This is relative. And those mermaids, they equipped those men full of power and wealth. You wonder why, you know, especially in the Western world, you see a lot of business in the, 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 how can I say, uh, the, the logo of the business is mermaid. Have you seen that family? One of them is, is, you know, <laughs> yes, does anybody know some, some other business? You know, there is Star Starbucks and many others, many others. You see Mermaid logo. You know, they, they are billionaire, multi-billionaire. And sometimes, you know, that's why David said, don't, 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 do not get envy of while the week, weekend is prospering. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you don't know where that wealth is coming from. We, we do not know. But this is what they do. They get married to a mermaid to accumulate wealth. Mm -hmm. Family, when you see a person, you know, driving nice cars and stuff, just you, just you know, calm down. Let us not get excited and say, "Oh, if I wish I had," you know, or even get envy to that person. No, no, we don't know what people do in the darkness. Yes, sister. Um, Sister Kese is still there. Let's go now to the next topic, the world of darkness. The world of darkness. In this world, the first floor is from the darkness, even for those on the other side. Yes, that's the second sister. You know, when the man, you know, family, when the man of Venela is speaking, he's speaking, you know, he, he sees the man of Venela, you know, he comes from far away, from Zulu. And when the man is speaking, he speaks with wisdom. Why? Because he can see the physical world where we live in, and he can see also the spiritual world. And when he speaks he speak to us, he give an example of those also who are on the other side. 
you know, other side means outside the physical world. And that the reason is saying, in this world, the first flaw is from the darkness. And even those, you know, on the other side, the first flaw also they, where they found themselves is from darkness. And the question is, which, which flaw is you talking about? Yes, it's a yes. And when someone comes to the second floor, he didn't win either. On the third floor, he also did not win. In the fourth, he also did not win. In the fifth, he also did not win. When it comes to the sixth, more or less, when the seventh to the eighth comes, there you are in there and nobody, nobody takes you out. Nobody moves you. Yala. 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 This is about, you know, the spiritual world. We have covered all, 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 already, you know, uh, last, at the end of last year. But the man also, you know, reminded us about this. The first floor is the bottom of this world, is the bottom. You know, when we find ourselves at the bottom of this world, at the bottom level or layer of this world, <laughs> the mother said, it's, it's darkness. I don't know, family, are, are we understanding? In the darkness. Okay. And when, when also said, if you if you found yourself in this physical world on the first floor, on the first floor, you are in darkness. And now it goes to the spiritual world on the other side. He said also, you are in darkness. Why? Because those on the other side, you know, those were those who have already passed away. Those on the other side found on the first floor, they are also in darkness. Why in darkness? Now he's mentioning, you know, you know, in darkness of that, you know, that the other world. Why? Because they did not win. They did not win. You know, remember, there is the kingdom of darkness, there is the kingdom of Zambian Pong. Both are divided in levels or flows, both, both kingdom, both kingdom. And even when it comes to the kingdom of Nzambi, if you are found on the first floor, you know, you are still in the kingdom of, of Nzambi, correct? But automatically, you are in darkness. Why? Because you will not feel satisfied. That's why, you know, most of them that are found on the first floor in the kingdom of Nzambi, they are crying to come back to earth to fix their life and do good and walk in righteousness so that they can be promoted to the, on the other level. Not the second, not the third, to on, you know, to the seventh one. This is real, family. Many people, you know, I'm not even touching, you know, the kingdom of darkness. Not that one. Remember, the kingdom of darkness is a world. The kingdom of Tatanzam is a world, both. And both kingdoms are divided in flows or layers. This is the first one, the second one. You know, in the kingdom of Nzambi, the more you go, the more, re re the more you rejoice the more you rejoice. But the kingdom of, da of darkness is contrary. The more you go, the more you burn, you feel, you know, the suffering, you know, burning your body. You feel the torment. Then, in that side, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. no peace, no peace. They attack each other. They, they always fighting, they attack each other, they trust nobody, 
They're always busy fighting against one another, against themselves. Against themselves. Prince Michael, he is in between, you know, Kingdom of Tatan Zambi, for example, Kingdom of Darkness. Prince Michael is in between, is in between of both kingdom. Because he's the major supervise. He's in between when a person dies and goes on the other side. If you are wicked, that's from far, he will point it. You, your place is there. Go. So I'll come back to this point. The one I said. If you fall in the first, you didn't win. Why? Because you will be not satisfied. On the second, but then he says, if you go to the sixth, well, it means more or less. Because of the sixth floor, you know, in heaven, on the sixth floor, at least you will be able to enjoy a little bit, you know, have some benefit and stuff. But not as those who are on the seventh one. Not as those. And we know the meaning of number seven, by the way. Rest in peace. Therefore, point 17, this is the case. Sorry. Therefore, the way the world works here, its actions, you have to be very careful, very careful. The thing is that they get the person out into the world, into the spirit world, when the person is so balanced. Unsure of what the person is following, that's where Satan takes advantage of diverting, deceiving people's mind. To do what? To put things in their minds and make them believe that Satan was sent there by Tatanzambi. He wants people's best. He wants people's best. Want this and that for people, says Satan. Yes. Point 18, sister. All, after all, it is those mediums who are among those who like to dig away, to dig always, looking for deep things. Watch out. The world also deceives people a lot. It shows you a, re a revelation after all, it is against the will of Tatanzambi, according to 1 John 4, verse 1. And he is also deceiving, especially the youth of this world. This is just to let you know what this world is like. Yes. Yalla. 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 We ask you, you want us to teach? What comes from us or from the mind? And you say, what comes from the mind? And this is, this is what the man is saying. Let us be careful, family. Oscar Pemba is busy deceiving many people. Brother Naomi, can you, guys, can you, can you show point 17, please? Oscar Pemba is busy deceiving many, 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 many people. We must be careful. We must be careful. We must be careful. Especially... Those people, you know, who are, you know, you, you know, who are not in balance, you know, those people who are always, you know, balance around, you know, last time the one that spoke through, through Sister Petrina, you know, uh, the one that says, uh, you know, uh, stop jumping from places to places, use the weapon you have and make a change and until you see the change. Why? Because people always, you know, Jumping from one place to another, one place to another. You know, they're not, the mother said, they are unsure of what, you know, they are following. They are unsure. They are unstable. And the kind of loves those kind of people. They do not stand on their faith. And the kind of people loves those, love those kind of people. And because the, the person isn't sure, your family. Kajampemba, he was a, not a cherub. He was in heaven, anointed cherub. 
kadang pemba <laughs> family he knows nobody on earth none of the human beings knows better than him the mother say that why because he was an angel he existed since the beginning he knows the best way on how to deceive human beings why because he's been deceiving from long time ago you know when it's come to experience you know the best thing for you to master a job is by experience and he can be full of experience he knows how human beings you know behave he knows very well that's what the money is saying watch out and the wonder was like this world i this world is deceiving many people this world is deceiving a lot last last topic it was about the you know be way of false prophet when tatanzam is pressing the same button over and over over and over we must know that something is coming ahead family and the mother said there is a sea ahead of us there is a river ahead of us that all of us we must cross the river but in order for us to cross we must know how to swim and the question is do you know how to swim do we know how to swim watch out first john 4 one he speaks about you know be where family and do not believe in every spirit can we just read very quick no let's read very quick first john you know i'm going to read very very quick first john 4 take this one beloved do not believe every spirit but test to the spirit to see whether they are from zambi for many false prophets have gone out into the world test test regarding to teaching oh my goodness oh goodness sometimes we just look you know some you know i saw a uh, a uh, video on youtube they were saying you know uh the holy spirit is a female and you know <laughs> and he says nzambi you know he's you know he's nzambi though we see him as a father but on other side of him is also you know of a mother his father and the mother you know that's why I saw Beyonce you know there was a video where Beyonce was praying oh you know he say father god and mother god family what what is this deception you see father god and oh you know we think you father god and mother god what is that mother god well they are gods not ours some of them are bringing a lot of kind of you know things like the spirit the holy spirit is a female it's things like that what is that <laughs> yes yet summer the vova moon yeah allah allah it is serious family discernment yes uh first day on the prayer somebody is asking us to pray for spiritual discernment it is very important that when banabe to the children of zambia pumba to land seek for spiritual discernment things are not easy there are many things going on but we should let them one the better land lead us i mean we are today the 11th of us family we are very very blessed many people out there they are trying to find something from the moon and you are receiving it and a spiritual guidance a spiritual direction 
the man that's talking straight to you, even though you may not see him, but you you can feel him. Every time we come to the Zoom family, we become a new person because every time is a is a preparation process that he brings to shape us. We are no longer the same as we started. Uh, I think it's, it's already 45 or I mean 40 or 35 minutes gone. From that, from the moment we started until now, Zambia has done so many things. Man. Let's embrace what the Mwanda will last speak, man. not just to entertain ourselves, but to us to embrace it. First John 4 1 is very important. Man. I didn't see most of you reading that. Please meditate on that. First the book of John, chapter 4, verse 1, is very important. We got to test every spirit, every teaching. And feel free even to test what your brother to Samba say, what your brother Benika say. This is given from above. When you listen something, have that spiritual ability to understand in the spirit for us to walk in the spirit. Um, I just would like to ask um, Elder Kennedy, please, to help me in the next point. A world full of darkness. This world is full is of darkness, but you children telling it to Father Mayamona, no spirit can come to torment you. Now the world goes sorry. I continue. Yes, please, Elder. The world goes through torment when it does not accept the type of practice, evil. Some people have sought to discover certain practices and then run away from them. Soon, when some are sleeping, they are ready, those who come to arrest them at night. When many of them do not accept the commitment with them, they already become enemies. Those who are with Zambambungu Tulendo, with his son Mayamona, they can never experience torments in their life. Never. Because you are with the son of Muntu. You are with Nzambia Mpungo to land. Kaja Mpemba is the one who brings torments in our life. The world is full of darkness. It is indeed. This darkness, they bring their forces to attack you, to destroy you, to take you out of the way of Nzambia Mpungo to land, to make you weak. Not only you, your family, your business, everything around you. But we shall never be afraid because if you and I are with Zambia and Pungu to land with Mayamona family, nothing at all shall happen to us. But problem comes to everybody who behave like a, a chicken searching around Digging around, they find something else, a snack. A snack spiritually is represented as devil, as Kajam Pemba. So point number 20, family, is very deep. It's very deep, why? Because many people think they try to start practicing evil stuff without knowing or even knowing because of their curiosity 
they start opening and giving legality to Kadiam Pemba. Legality is something very dangerous, family. They start searching and asking and looking for ways, going in the wrong houses and doing so many evil and evil um, practices, invoking Kadiam Pemba in their life, in their house. And then they open the, the spiritual legality. And when you do that, or when they do that, family, Kadiam Pemba always will come to torment you or them. Kadiam Pemba is not like that one that lives now. Let's, let's leave him because he didn't know what he was doing. No, for him, his opportunity. Oh, we found someone. Let's go there. He doesn't come along. <laughs> he bring all his army. Because they found somebody to destroy. Because what? They're going to look. Mission. Wow. We have found somebody to kill. Let's go. So, and then many people, they do this and they start discovering they start doing things that are not good at all. When they go to bed, they saw their spirits now, they start being tormented. Kajan Pema start, start coming. So since the person was doing it not by, by non, knowing, and then when he discovers at, the right, at, at that specific moment, he declares a war against Kadiam Pem. We will see, uh, Brother Nimi, just uh, help me. We'll see many of the questions. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you just go a little bit? Yes, thank you. We'll see many questions that they ask. You don't not accept. Why? Because Kadiam Pem will start coming, giving them proposal. I'm going to... I'm going to relate that with what happens to Isaiah Congo. I'm not going to read it because of time. Remember when Isaiah Congo went to the wilderness, to, to the desert? Remember what yeah. remember did? Yes, yes, remember. Tempted him. He tempted him. His temptation always comes with questions. <laughs> comes with proposal if I will give you this if you accept this something will happen to you unfortunately Bantu suddenly please wake up don't chase for power he will always deceive you with those things family don't chase for power Kadian Pemba will try to pretend to give you the world And since you are interested on that, you follow me. Please advise you to read Matthew um, uh, 5, 5. I believe it's 5. Please read that. It talks a lot about what Isaiah Congo went through. 5, 5. We will see that Kadian Pemba, as Pange Benika said, he will always stand you before he attacks you're going to start your life. Let, let, let's see what he did to Isaiah. Isaiah was fasting for many days, family? 40 days. 40 days. In those 40 days, what happened there? He was tempted by the devil. Why? There was a point. Why? To get him to worship on uh, Kadiam Pemba and turn his back on Katan Zambi. My brother name is moving uh, to the conclusion, but the reason why Kadian Pemba tempted him. I think he's he tempting him because he was hungry. He knew he was he was hungry. Thank you. He was hungry. You see how Kadian Pemba is? You find your weakness, family. Oh, he's hungry. Let me go there. Propose him a food. The Samba is very hungry. He's fasting for 40 days. The Samba, I have the solution for you, man. 
I will give you bread. You have power. Transform this into bread. So he will always find a way to deceive you in what you are looking for. And this point, Twain is family. That person, I don't know, and one that was giving an example, he wanted something. And Kajan Pemba used that opportunity to deceive the person. That's why he was asking, you don't want to accept? Why? The demon asked it. After giving you the explanation now, you don't want to accept? Why? Because they went through a lot of conversation. The person dig it too deep. After they found, oh my goodness, this is not where I was looking for. Dangerous family. There is dangerous when looking for something that is not for Tatanzam. Now let's see where you are going to go. See, say the Holy Spirit. This world, this is how the world is filled with so much. Other people have gone through this because of the consequences of their curiosity on waiting to know deep stuff. Vuva Moon. Yala. 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 There is no problem, family, looking for things, looking for clarification, looking for information. The problem is looking in the wrong way, looking for your own benefit, looking to open a spiritual legality for Kajan Pemba to take over of your life. That's where torment comes, family. We see us suffering because of we have opened a way for Kajan Pemba. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. knowledge. They have rejected me, also rejected them. Let's analyze it, family. When you, re when you reject something, you accept something else. Isn't it? That's right. Yes. They have rejected Zambe, and Zambe rejected them because he was very angry because they decided to follow Kadia Pemba. They decided digging to what is not from Zambe and Pungu to land. Dangerous comes there. The world is full of darkness. Don't go. On this way, we are begging you, Pam. This is what is this deepest you want to know. The, the man is asking to go away. What are, are we going? Are you going to do there in that deepest that you are looking for? Bratsamba, are you there? Can you hear me, family? In Geta. In Geta. Yes, in Geta. Well, I don't know what's wrong. Bratsamba, are you there? Okay. Well, family, while Bratsamba is processing, you know, a human being is very, you know, is full of wisdom. Is full of, you know, the spirit of creativity in such a way that when there is no problems, human beings is able to create a problem. <laughs> you see how the problem is happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are full of wisdom, we human beings. We are full of wisdom and the spirit of creativity because, you know, Zambi is a creator. He also gives us the spirit of creativity. But we, when there is no problem, we like to create problem, digging, you know, like chicken. Why? That's why the mother was asking. 
What is this deep stuff you want to know? Because, you know, you talk to many people, people will say, I want to know the deep stuff. These or that, ah, that's not enough for me. I want to meet deep stuff. What, what do you want? What do you want? The one is asking, what is this deep stuff you want to know? What is this? To go where? Where? To go where? I want power. To go where? I want power. For what? What are you going to do there? In those deep, 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 you know, deep place you go to. What, what are you going to do with those deep stuff you are looking for? What? The mother asked. <laughs> then he say, we are talking, huh? You know, sometimes it is, you know, we have to listen straight when the, when the man is speaking, your family. Sometimes we tremble of fear when the man is speaking. We are, we are talking serious stuff, the man said. The abyss. Matula, can you help me? Point 22, is it the ab abyss? Abyss. Okay. Abyss. And then we are talking, he said. We're talking, huh? The abyss. We're yes. talking about the abyss. Yes. Abyss is, you know, is darkness. Darkness. But in Wanda, it was not just referring, you know, to the darkness in the spiritual world. No. Darkness, in other words, is ignorance. It's oblent of light. Light is knowledge. Darkness is ignorance. Darkness is absence of knowledge. Absence of light. This is what the man said. And this darkness, abyss, this ignorance, and this absence of the true knowledge is ruling many people. It is busy destroying many people. Is busy destroying many, 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 many people. Many people are perishing in family. To, to, that's why some say my people perish for the lack of knowledge. You know, people always want something else. What is that? What is that? Yes, Mama Tola, can you go to point 23? And those same ones who want to do great wonders and signs resemble those people who want to reach a point of being better between the dead and the living ones. They want to know everything. People want to know everything. Mm -hmm. Yalla. Yalla. People, Yalla. You know, people, people want to be great. Great. You know, people want to be great. Do you remember family? Uh, the the conversation between uh Miriam and Aaron, what they said to Moses? What they were speaking what, what they were talking about to Moses? Does anybody remember? Yes, how come he's yes. uh dating some he's dating somebody out of the Isolele? No, not that one. Yeah, they, they spoke about that, but before they were gossiping about Moses, you know, saying like, you know, the way questioning they Moses the prophet. Huh? They can also be used by the most high. Uh, what else they say? You know, they're busy complaining. Who is Moses? Moses is who? Who is Moses? We also talk to God. We also yeah. can lead these people. We also can lead these people. Of who is Moses? Oh, family. Family, Moses was chosen because he was very humble. He was the most humble man on earth. Even when Samuel chose him, he denied, he didn't want. Zambia uses those who are humble. Even in Tokyo's assembly, you know, many of those people want to be a vati. They will never be a vati. Those who desire so bad to be a vati, they will never be a, be a vati. Most of the vatis are those who do not want to be a vati. You know? But there are some even, they pretend to be a vati. They pretend to be a prophet. 
And most of them, I know many, some of them are crazy. I had a friend, while he was small, he used to pretend to be a vat. And when you when you question him, which spirit is this speaking to us? Tell us, who are you? He'll be laughing and say, I was just joking. And now his mind is like a mad person. Acting abnormally. That's the problem. You know, Aaron and Miriam, they confronted Moses. Who are you? We also speak to Nzambe. Who are you? You know, they were digging. They wanted, they wanted also to lead Isolele. Forgetting that Nzambe chose one person to lead. And Nzambe confronted them. Miriam. You know the punishment Nzambi sent to Miriam? Anybody remember? Yeah, their hands became like precious. Uh-huh. Yes. People digging. Digging a lot. People want to know everything. Because they used to, you know, they used to gossip and they used to become jealous when they saw Moses going to the to the tabernacle, speaking to Nzambi Pongo. They used to wonder, but what Moses is what Moses is, is busy doing there inside the tabernacle? Oh, so I deserve also to go there. I also deserve. Who is Moses? Who is this? Who is Moses? I also deserve to be there. You know. They also wanted to know what Moses was doing there inside. And Zambi chose Moses. And guess what? They also they had their gift. Aaron was a priest. Was a Levite, but that happened because he didn't know his role, and he was, you know, he was uh, covered against somebody else's gift. People want to know everything the mother was saying. They want to do great wonders and signs to be called deep or prophet. To say, hey, you know, this guy, hey, this Benika, huh? this guy, powerful, hey, you know. People want to be, you know, to look like, huh, don't, don't play with me. I'm a prophet. I'm a Goza. No, it doesn't work like that. And Zambi will use those who are humble. Those who are humble shall be used by Zambi to do great, great stuff. But those who are pecking around like a chicken, they will find a snake and will bite them. Everybody has a gift. But when we misuse our gift, Kadempemba will take advantage from that. And guess what? Kadempemba loves those who desire power. We'll show it. Nzambi is coming slowly like a chameleon, but Kadempemba will, will, will travel like a lizard very fast if we present the power to you. Well, you're looking for power. Here is the power. And the person, because the person was thirsty for power, will pick it up. And when Zambi comes, who gave you this? Well, the one I wanted to give is this, but because you have already received or decided to choose yours, who gave this? Yes, Mama Tola, can you go? People want to know where the father went. And where did the mother go? Why did they die? People want to know where the father and mother went and what they did for them to die. They left this world. And where are they? What's the sin they committed? Yes. You know, this is what people asked. Let me ask your family. How many of you, when you joined the awakening, you saw similar question and people trying to offer you maybe, you know, a solution, you know, let's speak to our ancestors, this and that. And because people are so desperate, people, they want to speak to their ancestors. I want to know, I want to inquire my mother or my father, you know, about these and family. Have you seen a similar situation? Anybody? Haven't you seen any similar situation? In Where people want to inquire their ancestors to, found, to find answers? 
Yes. 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 They say, yes, let's go and inquire our sisters. Let's speak to our sisters. Well, <laughs> Samuel was also looking for the same thing. Samuel was looking for the same thing, was looking for answers everywhere. But Samuel sent no prophet to prophesy to him. And what did he, what did he do? He wanted to look for a medium because he wanted, to, he wanted to speak to his ancestor, Samuel. And you know the, the end of Samuel, of Saul. We know the end of Saul. I mean, Saul, Saul was looking for, 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 for an answer. He searched everywhere. He couldn't find. He was like, oh, what, what must I do? I know immediately. Let's go. And that, that is what many people do to find the answer of those questions, to talk to their parent. Yet, Samba, am I lying on this one? I'm glad you're back. No, thank you. Yes. No, uh, no, I was waiting for you. Go, go here. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Because we are already in the last uh, points. You, you may finish. Okay. All right. You know, family, this is what many people do. They want to speak to their ancestors. And they go, in South Africa, they search for a Sangoma. Sangoma is a medium, you know, who's standing between the dead and the living. And, you know, if you see the book of, the book of Samuel, where it's narrated the history of Saul, when you want to inquire the medium, our, ancestor, our true ancestors, they are resting family. They have no time to come up and respond to you. Why? Because when we do that, we are bothering him. We are disturbing their sleep. We are disturbing them. That's why someone said, why you disturb me? Why? Why are you disturbing me? And because of you disturbing me, I'm going to curse you. I'm paraphrasing, right? And you know what Samuel did to, to Saul, what he spoke to Saul? He delivered a heavy prophecy. You shall be killed. Because, you know... <laughs> So because Saul, he forced prophecy from Zamyapu. He forced prophecy from Zamyapu. And point, and, you know, when we force prophecy from Zamyapu, remember, Saul was looking for prophecy all around. You can read. First Samuel, I think, 28. And I think verse 10, not must be here, but you can search. You know, Saul was looking for prophecy everywhere. But he couldn't found no prophet to prophesy to him. So he decided to look for a medium. And you know the end of Saul. So when we force prophecy, when if we force, you know, Muhammad Zola, point 24. Only as far as the person has gone, that person is no longer a person. Yes. When that person is going to give himself up, he leaves the place he visits in search for answers. He is no longer a person. It is a corpse. Mm -hmm. That is Let's soul. That is soul. The moment soul left that medium's place, soul was dead. Spiritually, he was dead. Death was finding him, you know, on the other side just to kill his body. That's all. Zombie, you know, first. <laughs> you, you wonder why the Bible says, you know, before we were dead. Dead what? How? Dead in spirit. Spiritually, you dead when you visit those places. A Sangoma, a medium, will never live us alone. Never. Never. The moment that person visits, you know, that those, those houses, whether it is a Sangoma, whether it is a medium, whether it is a, you know, a fortune tellers, whether it is a, you know, uh, those all those names, you know, in Africa, Europe, Asia, you know, you, you find all those peoples. Those who read, you know, home readers, Taros, my mama is it Tarot card? 
in Yes, Yes. Yes. Psychics. All those people, they will never leave you alone if you visit them. I'm telling you, family. If you go on YouTube, you will see the lesson we spoke about on how can you remember, you know, fake healing. The moment you put your step in that house, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yes, I want to point six. Point six. Let's say that. Let us say that because the person has already learned a lot. He has already learned thousands and thousands of teachings contrary to the will of a zombie. You see? <clears throat> That is the message. You visit those places, you will learn a lot from that person to the medium. You will teach, you will teach, you will teach, you will teach a lot. A lot. The moment you leave the place, you left you leave the place, you know, full of packet, packet, loaded with information from the devil. In that information is spirit. This good, you know, as I said, my word as spirit. If the word of, 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 of Isaiah is a spirit, how about the word of Kadem Pemba? Is a spirit the same thing? It's same thing, same thing. That's what the scripture said. Be, be careful what you hear. The word is a spirit. It for the moment it, you listen to it, it is, it's over. That's what Samba say, you know, now at night you will come in, you know, and demand from you. Why don't you want to join me? Why don't you want me, what I'm giving to you? Hmm? After you learning from me, you are denying what I'm giving to you? Ah, you, 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 you will see. You will declare a war. Let Samba say that. So, family. That is the will of the Nipom, not ours. This message cannot apply, you know, cannot if it cannot if this message cannot be applied to you, we are sure that we are sure that this message applied to someone else. You know that is always a, like a chicken, you know, pecking around like a chicken. So you know that this message applies to that person. Brother Nimi, can we go to the first point, all the way to the first point, please? Yes. So once again, we recall, in Tsusu, kwa kazayi inge, wele bundu muna kimbangela. When a chicken search or scatters things away, looking for, you know, pecking around, it end up finding a snake. And what the snake will do, it will bite the chicken. And Brother Samba said, let us not be like a chicken pecking around. Once again, with the Mwanda says so, through Sister Patrina, use your gift and make a change. Use your gift until you see a change. Stop jumping from places to places. People have no focus. Focus in the concentration attract success. Focus in the concentration. So we must use, use faith, family. We must defend what we believe, stand on what we believe, and wait patiently. And we will see what Zami will do. Matondo Masaka, Langi Benika, Matondo Masaka, all family. Uh, I think it is all for the teaching of today. Mama Tzola would like to hand the time back to you. Ingeta. Can you see the presentation, Pem? Ingeta. Ingeta. So, Ingeta. We are trying to make Ingeta. Matondo Masaka, brother Ingeta. Abel. We are trying to make things in the way that when we come out uh, out of the Zoom, we have learned something to organize stuff. So the Zoom of everything we learned today, we took of, of what everybody was speaking quickly. We were writing down first one, 
focus highly on Tatan Zambia. And in second, don't move around and don't be don't behave like a chicken, always digging and searching around. Devil is attentive to destroy your life and everything around you. Curiosity leads us to a straight and open a spiritual legality. Examine and test all the spirit if they are from Zambia to, to, to avoid to be deceived. Torments are the result of some spiritual legality we do with devil, knowing and unknowingly. When you go to the evil house to search for things, once to get out from, from there, you are no longer the same person. You will be dead spiritually. So family, these were the lesson learned today. We're gonna share them to everybody as well. So coming out of the Zoom, that was the summarize of the things we have went through today. Tondo Masaka for your time. Yes.